What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the best free huge pet in this entire game. And I'm not talking about the ones you get for free from, you know, just from watching my videos, by the way. Um, these are the free huge pets right now. We got the propeller cat. I happen to have a rainbow one of these bad boys. The fossil dragon, of course. The huge fire horse, which is right here. The Poseidon Corgi. Uh, the wizard Westy. The cyber agony, which I really hope that they can make a rainbow version of. And then, of course, you got the high-tech tiger. Let's talk about what the easiest one is to get. And to do that, we're going to talk about exist count and how easy those items are to get for each particular huge pet, okay? But first, I got to do everybody a big, huge favor in the live chat, and I got to do a huge pet giveaway. So let's do that real quick. We're going to give away this huge balloon cat right now. Here we go. Let's do it. We're gonna go to send, grab that balloon cat. Where you at, beautiful? There you are. Shaboom. And everybody, let's do this right now. You ready? We're gonna scroll. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Who wants this huge heart balloon cat? Three, two, one. Boom. This person, right? Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Nope. All right. There it is, right there. Stop. Stop. Right there. This person. Love your. Oh, M MJ the. The KO King. MJ the KO King. Thank you so much for the comment. Be a subscribe. Here is your brand new huge heart balloon cat provided by the incredible Super Dexis. Bam, bam, boom, shebang. Are you super sure? Yes, yes, I am. And of course, gamers, booyah. And of course, everybody, if you guys want me to send you some stuff, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video, and make sure you guys put your Roblox name in the comment section. Super easy. So first of all, everyone, let's go ahead and head over to World 1. We're going to talk about all the free huge pets that are there and see what the uh, what the percentages have increased to and see how easy every huge pet is to get. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Here we go. Teleport to World 1. Let's do it. Okay, so now that we're back in World 1, everybody, let's go take a look at all the pets that you can get inside of World 1. Okay? Let's hop on a hoverboard, and we're going to first, we're going to head over to uh, this little spot right here in the castle which everyone's aware of i'm pretty sure uh the crystal chest so oh wait actually you can get a uh propeller cat right here check this out so they actually have a propeller cat in here for us to try for us so let's try it right now here we go wouldn't that be wild if it did it no way oh come on man that would have been crazy if that would have happened on stream of course that would never happen my luck's way too terrible but as you guys can see, there is 21,000 propeller cats that exist right now, and that's been available since the game first released, okay? 21,000 of those bad boys. To get a spinny wheel ticket, that's another thing you gotta take into account. You need a spinny wheel ticket to spin for the propeller cat, and that bad boy costs 6,600 gems inside the trading plaza. So, not too shabby. You can get quite a few of these for a pretty decent price. Um, you, to get uh, the Wizard Westy, and I think that is, let's see here. The Wizard Westy right now, there is 30,000 point. So there's 30, almost 31,000 Wizard Westies that exist. To get a Wizard Westy, you need Crystal Keys. Let's take a look at what Crystal Keys cost right now. So you can get a Crystal Key for 19,000, okay? 19,000 for a Crystal Key, or you can spend seven, roughly 7,000 for a Spinny Wheel ticket. So that's what, three times? You can spin three more Spinny Wheel tickets than you could for trying to Wizard Westy. So... As far as these two guys are concerned on which one is easier, because there is 9,000 more Wizard Westies than there is um, huge propeller cats, I'd probably have to say the bang for your buck is probably going to come from the uh, the Crystal Keys. Because obviously every time you don't get a Wizard Westie, you're still getting some items. So I got to say, if you're going to go for one, Wizard Westie is probably your best bet to go in this particular area. And the Wizard Westie, I think, is a pretty cool looking pet. I love it. It looks nice. It's got a little wand. I think it's a really good looking pet. And this is what the propeller cat looks like, even though it is kind of rad because it does fly. But uh, but still, I think the Wizard Westie is a cool looking pet. Wish it came in a rainbow, though. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about is the huge, colorful wisp. Now, there is 4,700 of these bad boys that exist. They sell for 63 million. The golden, there is 739 of these that exist. And the rainbow, there's 112 of these that exist. They go for a pretty decent price in the trading plaza. Um, we're still gonna have to go grab one of these, and we'll see if we can uh, see if we can find one of those. But also, very good pet. But the only way to get a huge colorful wisp, everybody, the only way to do it, is you have to actually complete one of the obbies in the game. Let's see if we get one. Wouldn't that be wild? Of course not. And now, when we get to the end of this obby, we get another set of rewards. The only thing with those loot chests, that was actually pretty good. But, once again, you have to wait an hour for this to come back. You could run around the map and complete all the uh, all the obbies in the game continuously until you get yourself a huge pet. So then we get another huge pet from the secret key location. Let's go ahead and pop in there real quick. Um, I'm going to say right away that I'm not a big fan of the secret key locations because most of the time, you get nothing. Like, I get a lucky egg six for 18,000 gems. So... Technically, you just lost money. And then we will head over here to the jungle obby, which is pretty good. 
This is a good obby. Love it to death. It's awesome. However, it does take about a minute to complete. And you gotta wait an hour for it to come back. So if you're trying to grind out a free huge pet, the obbies are not the best way to do it. You're just, it's just gonna take you too dang long. So let's go ahead and skip that one. The other huge pet that's really rare is the Mebo, which is right over here from the daycare. Let's go ahead and claim it. Here we go. Did we get anything? Of course we didn't. That's pretty much what I get every single time. But you do get some pretty good gems. Oh, I got 500. Wow, that doesn't happen. Um, you get pretty good gems from the uh, from the daycare, so not too bad. And then, uh, like I said, when you put this back in and you enroll your pets, you get the chance to get a uh, rainbow Mebo. Um, you get a chance to get a golden Mebo, and you get a chance to get a regular one, which right now there's 2,300 of these that exist and 62 of these rainbows that exist. So it's pretty difficult to get, but you do get a bunch of loot from this. So I would, I mean, you're not going to be farming this, obviously. You're going to be putting your pets in here trying to get them anyways, but you definitely got to be using the daycare, bottom line. I mean, you just get too much stuff for free. So you got to use that. And if you get a huge pet, that's just that's just a bonus. And then, of course, one of my favorite huge pets in this entire game, as you guys know, is the Fossil Dragon. One of the coolest ones ever. Um, the Fossil Dragon is in the dig site. You guys have all seen it. It's been here since the beginning of the game. And there is uh, 2,600 of these bad boys that exist. And it sells for 112 mil. There's no golden. There's no rainbow. But it's just a great pet. And it looks like this. And it flies. And it's amazing. Um, this is a... I, I think this minigame is actually pretty decent. Uh, I know they buffed the chances originally, and then they had to, like, unbuff the chances because there were some exploiters that were uh, getting a little bit too many of them. I don't know if you guys remember, but the uh, the pet went from, like, 100 exist to, like, 2,100 that exist in, like, under, like, 48 hours. It was wild. So, um, they did unbuff this, if you can call that a word. But basically, you just got to get a decent shovel. I would recommend just go to the advanced uh, dig site, get a shovel from there, and or get the golden shovel, and it just start crushing it. You got to get pretty far down here in order for you to have a chance to get that fossil dragon. But as far as time is concerned and items that you're going to get, I don't know if I love this, this uh, mini game as much as I used to because it does take a long time to get stuff. And I think you're just going to be wasting a lot of your time. So if you're trying to get a free huge pet, I don't know if the, uh, if the fossil dragon is the best free huge pet to go after simply because you're not actively getting a huge pet at all times like you would if you were going for the propeller cat or the wizard westing so that's just my thoughts so i would say this is probably not the best one to get we're going to go back to the top and we're going to head back and i'm going to show you guys the next one that's pretty that's a pretty decent rate and let's go check out the lava forest really good mini game one of my favorite mini games in the game you do get a chance to get a uh, golden and a rainbow but i'm going to tell you right now you're you're, you're not you're not going to get that these these pets are way too rare the regular one, though, has a decent drop chance. I don't know the exact percentages, but I know they buffed it recently, and it's a lot better, but it's still a pretty rare huge to get, and you can only do the uh, the chest rush. We're going to do it real fast. Um, let's, oh, I probably should have, oh, never mind. I didn't even have all my pets equipped. I like the fact that they did add, um, I do like that they added the fact that you can use your hoverboard on this now to help out. But you can get the fire horse from any one of the, uh, the chests as well. You just hang out here for five minutes, grind for a fire horse, and you go from there. I believe as far as like the drop rates go on this area, I'm pretty sure the drop rates are kind of like super drops, if that makes sense. It's kind of like you get the super drop game pass for five minutes is really what this area is. Really good rates, a lot of cool stuff, um, but a good chance to get yourself a fire horse. Is it the best huge and the easiest free huge to get in this game? I would say probably not. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This, in my opinion, of the fossil dragon or the fire horse or whatever, this is probably the better huge that you can get. And then I'm talking about the Poseidon Corgi. I like it because you can AFK while you're fishing. And you get items while you fish. So you get diamonds, you get uh, you get uh, all sorts of stuff. Diamonds, items, potions, enchantments, all that good stuff. So you can just sit here, put on an auto clicker, and you can go hands-free. It's really good. You get a lot of good stuff. Anybody can get a, uh, a Poseidon Corgi. You don't gotta have good pets. You don't gotta have good enchantments. You just got to have a good fishing rod. That's it. That's partially why I like this one better than most because you don't, it doesn't give you any boosts. It doesn't favor a free, uh, I mean, a pay to win player. It doesn't do any of that. You can get a huge pet simply just by playing the game. So this is pretty nice. If you want to uh, run in here, grab yourself a huge pet. You don't got to have any good items. Just go in there and fish. So I like that one a lot. They just fixed this one fairly within the last update, but you get a chance to get a Chroma Lucky, actually. And let's see what the rates on this are. 
So you can get a, uh, a regular Chroma, which is actually 26,000 of these that exist. And then the Rainbow, which there's 266 of those that exist. So for 80 million gems, that's not too bad. I don't have a Chroma, so we might have to go snag one of those as well. But let's go ahead in here and I'll show you guys what this is. This is um, the Lucky Blocks area. Nothing super fancy. I probably should equip some more pets if I was going to spend a long time in here. You get 15 minutes to grind out the area. It's got really good drop rates. You get good diamonds. You get some good stuff. Um, is this one of the better ways to, to get a huge pet in this game? I don't know about the best, but you get items while you farm. That's what I like. Um, that's why I'm not a big fan of the ones that don't. you can't farm a bunch of stuff. So if you're trying to get a Chroma Lucky and you want to come in here and get some items as well, this is a good spot. Um, not too bad. The rates on the Chroma Lucky are pretty low, but you're going to be getting a bunch of diamonds while you do it. So not too shabby. This is also a chance to get a Poseidon Corgi. And you get a chance to get another huge pet as well, which is the Whale Sharp, which I also don't have. We'll go take a look at that later. There are two ways you can get free huge pets inside of Advanced Fishing. Two, okay? You got to have a good fishing rod, number one. But the first one is, same thing as regular fishing, you just gotta throw your rod in there, turn on an auto clicker, and just sit here for a while. And you guys get diamonds, you get items, all that good stuff. There's no cooldown on this. You can come back anytime you want, and fish anytime you want. And you just sit here. Once again, you don't have to be an amazing player at this game. You don't gotta spend a bunch of Robux. It just goes off of you playing the game. So, as long as you got a good fishing rod, you can come in here. Okay? And you can get good fishing rods just by coming over here and literally you, you go AFK for one night, you'll have enough coins to come in here and buy a really good rod. So now that we're back in tech world, everybody, let's talk about the free huge pets that they added to this one. And the first one we're going to talk about is this bad boy right over here. So the, the, the huge tech spinning wheel is the huge abyssal axolotl. Very, very good huge pet. I do not have one myself, but let's go and see what the rates are on the abyssal axolotl here. Let's take a look. So axolotl, let's go down here to the huge abyssal. 626 of these bad boys exist and it goes for 222 million okay so the abyssal axolotl is one of the more difficult huge pets to get that's free in this game so let's go and look at the cyber agony i think this one's really good i'm pretty sure yeah 14,000. 14,000 of these exist and you could buy it for 68 million let's take a look at the keys real quick so the keys so if you remember the uh the wizard westy key was 19,000, but a uh the cyber agony key which is the tech key that bad boy is 58,000. So, if you're comparing the two keys and the fact that there's 30,000 Wizard Westies and they've been around ever since the game released, you, I don't know, you might be better off grabbing Crystal Keys if you're trying to get a free huge. But this pet is really, really good. I'm assuming if this pet was released, uh, was out when the game came out, I bet you the rates would be pretty much the exact same. So, I'd say the, the, uh, the Agony and the Wizard Westie so far are probably, and the Corgi, I'll put the Corgi in there too. I'd say the Agony, the Corgi, and probably the Westie right now are probably the easiest free huge to get at the moment. Now, let's go and move on and talk about this Tiger right here. This is the uh, the high tech Tiger. Really, really cool pet. One of my favorites actually. Love this mini game. They need to do more of these in this game for sure. More ways to spend gems that don't inflate the trading plaza. But check this out. So, you got the huge high tech Tiger. There is actually 2,400 of these that exist, and it goes for 94 million. Not too shabby. 2,400 is a little bit low if we're talking about free huges, but let's go and give it a shot. We'll do a few of these. Here we go. Boom. Got a boot. Boom. Got a, got some bags. Uh, let's do it again. Boom. Got myself some more bags. That's cool. Come on. Come on. Nope. Some more bags. Come on. Do it. Wow. I actually got some pretty good bags. That's not bad. 30,000 for three bags. That's not the greatest deal. Come on, boot. No. Come on. Let, oh, and there we go. Hang on, that's the golden one right there. And then we got, of course, the golden high-tech tiger, which is 514 exist, and they sell for 118 million. So, not too shabby. That's definitely a little bit better than that uh, abyssal axolotl for sure. But uh, let's go ahead and try this. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Really? Another boot? Really? Where's the rainbow? Show me the rainbow one. Show me it. No? Nothing? We got some more, some more bags. That's cool. Anyways, you guys get the idea. It's a tough pet to get. You got to spend 30,000 gems to get it. I've seen some people drop 40 million gems just to get themselves a high-tech tiger. So it's up to you guys. I would recommend if you're going to spend 40 million gems, go buy a bunch of keys and try to get a Westie or get a propeller cat. So I'd say I'd probably put this, uh, this huge pet would probably be more so in the middle, um, more towards the end of one of the tougher huge pets to get because you got to have a lot of gems to get it. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. I want to talk about this pet real quick because it's, I mean, it's, I'm not going to go in here and do it because you guys have seen everyone do videos on it, but 
This pet is impossible. It's an impossible huge pet to get. It's in the claw machine. You can try for it. It's inside of eggs. I don't know if you guys saw the video on it that I made, but I think I, I spent like almost a billion gems buying eggs to try to get this huge pet. It's impossible. Don't get this pet. Don't try for it. Don't waste your gems. You're much better off trying to get one of the other huge pets in the game over this one. So, no. Let's talk about this pet. I, I don't even know why I'm talking about this pet, but I'm going to. The chess raid pet that's the glitch cat. Bros, don't even worry about... Pretend this pet does not exist, okay? This pet is not real. It's not in the game. Just pretend. You're never going to get it. Ever. You get a chance to get it if you go in the chess raid... I mean, we can try in 37 minutes to try to get that, but bros, it ain't gonna happen. 18 of them, 1.7 billion. So that means the rainbow version is like, what? Two Titanics worth? Who knows? And then of course you got the normal, which goes, there's 29 of them that exist. 29, $1.68 billion for this pet. This pet's impossible. Pretend you're not gonna get this thing. Way too much money, way too difficult to do. It's just, it's not going to happen. Colorful Wisp. Let's see this. So 4.75 thousand exist. Sells for 63 million. You can pretty much find one all of the time. We found a huge Colorful Wisp for 68 million. I could probably keep searching around, try to find it for like 64, 65, but you know what? Whatever. This is a pretty good price. I'll buy the huge Colorful Wisp because I don't even know what it looks like. So let's buy that right now. Boom. Huge Colorful Wisp. Excellent. All right, let's see what that bad boy looks like. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here it is. Huge Colorful Wisp. There it is. What's up, bro? How you doing? This is not bad. It's not bad. It kind of reminds me of the colorful slime. Not a bad pet at all. Let's go and take a look at that abyssal axolotl. Let's see what that thing looks like. Here we go. By the way, while I'm here, let's go and drop a diamond party for everybody. Here you go, gamers. Two. That's not bad. Okay. And he's got two glitterings in it. He's got it for 210. I'll buy this one. 210 million for an abyssal axolotl. And he's got it 12 million under the wrap. That's not bad. I'll buy this one. I'll buy this one. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, this is a cool pet. I really like this one. I love that it glows. I don't know, man. This might be one of my favorite pets in the game. This pet is rad. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. This is a really good pet. So the only pets I haven't grabbed so far is the secret key location, Lumi Axolotl. Lumi Axolotl. Here we go. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay. There we go. We bought it. Woo! Okay. Okay. We got the Lumi now. There we go. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Is that all the pets? Is that all of them? Lumi Axolotl. There you are. Let's take a look at him. Let's take a look at this Lumi. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's a cool looking pet. That's a cool looking pet. I like that. Anyways, there we go. We got pretty much all the pets that I can afford right now. I got 5 million gems left. 5 million gems left. So we're going to do a diamond party. Wait. Can we do it? No, someone just did a diamond party. All these huge pets are the free huges you can get in this game. There they are. There's a whole bunch of them. I think I'm missing one, but it's too expensive. As far as the huge pets go, I think I got to say the propeller cat is probably... I'd say this one's probably one of the easiest. The uh, the wizard... Not the rainbow version, just the regular one. I'd say the wizard Westy is probably going to be the easiest huge pet to get out of all of these guys. I'd say in third place is probably going to be the, um, the, the cyber agony. In fourth place... I'd say, no, actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put the Corgi in third place. The Poseidon Corgi is going to be the third easiest huge. Maybe the second easiest. It might take second place with the Poseidon, or I'm sorry, the uh, the Propeller Cat. I'd say Wizard Westy, Corgi, Propeller Cat. Probably fourth place is going to go to the Cyber Agony. Fifth place, I'm going to say, is tied with the uh, Fire Horse and the Fossil Dragon. I would say sixth place goes to... Prob, I don't know. It's, it costs money, but I'd say probably the the high tech tiger. Seventh place is gonna go to the colorful wisp because it's so hard to get, and I'd say eighth and I'd say ninth and tenth place, I think has got to go to the cyber axle. I'm sorry, the uh, um, the abyssal axolotl's got to be number nine, and I'd say out of all of them, I would probably put the lumi axolotl as the most difficult uh, huge pet to get because the secret keys. It's just, you never know. You never know. I like the Westie because you can always roll for it. So, that's my list, everybody, on the free huge pets in this game. Let me know what you guys think is your favorite uh, free huge pet to get. Me, personally, I think I got I to gotta side with the uh, the Fossil Dragon, the Cyber Agony, and probably the Abyssal Axolotl. Those are probably my three favorite free huge pets to get. So, 
Um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys have a different list or if you guys have put them in a different tier than I would. But these are all the huge bets you can get besides that Luma, Chroma Lucky, and uh, Lucky Blocks area and the Glitch Cat, which is impossible to get. So, uh, but let me know what your guys' favorite free huge pet is down in the comment section. Other than that, everybody, I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me. You guys enjoy yourselves. Have a great day.